Werner Arber born the 3rd of June 1929 in Granichen, Argau, is a Swiss microbiologist and geneticist. Along with American researchers Hamilton Smith and Daniel Nathans, Werner Arber shared the 1978 Nobel Prize in Physiology or Medicine for the discovery of restriction endonucleases. Their work would lead to the development of recombinant DNA technology. Topic: Life and Career. Arbor studied chemistry and physics at the Swiss Federal Institute of Technology in Zurich from 1949 to 1953. Late in 1953, he took an assistantship for electron microscopy at the University of Geneva, in time left the electron microscope, went on to research bacteriophages and write his dissertation on defective lambda prophage mutants. In his Nobel autobiography, he writes, in the summer of 1956, we learned about experiments made by Larry Morse and Esther and Joshua Lederberg on the lambda-mediated transduction gene transfer from one bacterial strain to another by a bacteriophage serving as vector of bacterial determinants for galactose fermentation. Since these investigators had encountered defective lysogenic strains among their transductants, we felt that such strains should be included in the collection of lambda-prophage mutants under study in our laboratory. Very rapidly, thanks to the stimulating help by Jean Weigel and Greta Kellenberger, this turned out to be extremely fruitful. This was the end of my career as an electron microscopist and in choosing sick genetic and physiological approaches I became a molecular geneticist. He received his doctorate in 1958 from the University of Geneva. Arbor then worked at the University of Southern California in phage genetics with Geo. Joe. Bertani starting in the summer of 1958. Late in 1959 he accepted an offer to return to Geneva at the beginning of 1960, but only after spending several very fruitful weeks at each of the laboratories of Gunther Stent University of California, Berkeley, Joshua Lederberg and Esther Lederberg Stanford University and Salvador Luria Massachusetts Institute of Technology. Back at the University of Geneva, Arbor worked in a laboratory in the basement of the Physics Institute, where he carried out productive research and hosted a number of first-class graduate students, postdoctoral fellows and senior scientists, including Daisy Roland Dussois, whose work helped him to later obtain the Nobel Prize. In 1965, the University of Geneva promoted him to Extraordinary Professor for Molecular Genetics. In 1971, after spending a year as a visiting professor in the Department of Molecular Biology of the University of California in Berkeley, Arbor moved to the University of Basel. In Basel, he was one of the first persons to work in the newly constructed Biozentrum, which housed the departments of biophysics, biochemistry, microbiology, structural biology, cell biology and pharmacology and was thus conducive to interdisciplinary research. On 27 occasions since 1981, Werner Arbor has shared his expertise and passion for science with young scientists at the Lindau Nobel Laureate meetings. Werner Arbor is member of the World Knowledge Dialogue Scientific Board and of the Pontifical Academy of Sciences since 1981. In 1981, Arbor became a founding member of the World Cultural Council. He was elected a Fellow of the American Academy of Arts and Sciences in 1984. Pope Benedict XVI appointed him as president of the Pontifical Academy of Sciences in January 2011, making him the first Protestant to hold the position. In 2017, Arbor retired as president of the Pontifical Academy of Sciences and was replaced by German scientist Joachim von Braun. Topic: <laughs> Personal life. Arbor is married and has two daughters. Arbor is a theistic evolutionist, stating, "...the most primitive cells may require at least several hundred different specific biological macromolecules. How such already quite complex structures may have come together, remains a mystery to me. The possibility of the existence of a creator, of God, represents to me a satisfactory solution to this problem." In addition, he has affirmed, I know that the concept of God helped me to master many questions in life, it guides me in critical situations, and I see it confirmed in many deep insights into the beauty of the functioning of the world. References Further reading 
Conforti, B. February 2000. History. The Servant with the Scissors. Nature Structural Biology, 7 2, 99-100. Doi 10.1038/72469. Kaiser, Louis A. 1979. The Nobel Chronicles. 1978. Werner Arbor, B. 1929. Hamilton O. Smith, B. 1931. Daniel Nathans, B. 1928. Lancet. 354. 9189. 1567. Doi 10.1016/s01406736057660X. ISSN 0140 PMID 10,551,539. Shampo, Ma, Kyle, Ra. October 1995. Werner Arbor Nobel Laureate. Mayo Clinic Proceedings. 70 10, 945. doi 10.4065/70.10.sv. ISSN 0025-6196. PMID 7564545. Kroon, M. February 1979. The Nobel Prize for Medicine and Physiology in 1978. Werner Arbor, Daniel Nathans, Hamilton Smith. Nederlands Tidschrift voor Geniskunde. 123 5, 153-6. ISSN 0028-2162. PMID 368662. Pekarowitz, A. 1979. Werner Arbor, Daniel Nathans and Hamilton Smith. Nobel Prizes for the Studies on DNA Restriction Enzymes. Postepi Biochemie. 25 to 251-3. ISSN 0032-5422. PMID 388391. Berg, K. December 1978. The Nobel Prize in Physiology and Medicine 1978. Nobel Prize to a Controversial Research Field. Tidskrift for Den Norske Legeforning, Tidskrift for Praktisk Medicine, N. Y. Rake. 98 34 36, 1741 2. ISSN 0029 2001. PMID 725894. Desiderio, S. Boyer, S. November 1978. Arbor, Smith and Nathans, Nobel Laureates in Medicine and Physiology, 1978. The Johns Hopkins Medical Journal. 143 5, XX. ISSN 0021-7263. PMID 364154. The Nobel Prize Winners 1978, Medicine. From Modest Beginnings. Nature. 275 689-90. October 1978. doi.10.1038-275684A0. ISSN 0028-0836. PMID 360075. Peterson, L. R., Gerding, D. N. August 1978. Protein Binding and Antibiotic Concentrations. Lancet, 2, 8085, 376. doi, 10.1016, S0140 67368 92977 X. ISSN 0140 6736. PMID 79742. Pedersen, R. 1978. Nobel Prize Laureates in Physiology and Medicine. Duodecim, Lokaditilin and Ikokhauskerja. 94 1466 9. ISSN 0012 7183. PMID 729493. External links Autobiography for the Nobel Prize in Physiology or Medicine 1978
Official biography from the Pontifical Academy of Sciences Free-to-view video interview with Werner Arbor provided by the Vega Science Trust. <laughs>